What's up everybody out there? It is October the 12th or 13th, one or two, I don't know. I know it's Thursday when this video is being recorded, but um, I'm a little behind schedule because I said I was gonna put myself on a three video minimum per week. And this is, I believe the second. So I'm trying to step my game up. Without rambling too much, the topic of this video is going to be how bodybuilding saved my life. Yes, bodybuilding saved my life. Before I started lifting, I was kind of in everything. I mean, I was into a lot, a whole lot of stuff when it came to um, running the streets and just running with the wrong people and just being around a group of individuals who just really didn't have um, my best interest and didn't really care whether anything happened to me or any consequences or whatnot of the actions that we used to take back in the day. I believe it was around 2006. Um, I had a couple of friends that I was actually running with that um, coincidentally ended up moving away from home and pretty much left me alone. So all of the enemies that we ever made in the, in the city, pretty much, you know, I was a target. Knowing that I was a target, knowing that I was vulnerable, um, it, it kind of backed me into a corner a little bit, made me a little bit more cautious about what I wanted to do with my free time, about where I chose to go. Um, just a, just was kind of living a little paranoid, so to say, because I was alone and I didn't want to get caught running alone, if you know what I mean. If, you, um, if you've if you grown up in a rough neighborhood, then you can understand where I'm coming from. You never want to get caught slipping by yourself. So that being said, I needed some I needed something to occupy my time and I needed something to to um to improve myself. I had a run in with somebody um summer of 2006 and to say the least um it wasn't a bad encounter. It could have been, but it was an encounter that woke me up that made me realize I needed to do something about this situation because at the time I was out of shape. Um, didn't have any muscle, didn't have any endurance, so I needed to, um, I needed to redeem myself and I needed to enhance myself. In July of 2006, I ended up joining a powerhouse gym, and little did I know that that was going to be the beginning of what would end up being a 10-year run, and so much more, so much more. I remember walking through the door of that gym, and I was so impressed and so amazed with the bodies that I've seen. And I remember the guy, I can't remember his name, but I remember the guy that signed me up. He was telling me about all of these different machines and all of these different um, uh, workouts that I could do. And he was basically just telling me, you know, showing me the ropes a little. I think I started working out about five days a week, and there was a time I was going at least twice a day because at the time I was unemployed and I didn't really have anything to do so I would go to the gym twice a day and one day I would do upper body and then I would come back and do lower body looking back on it now those that workout that I was doing was so inferior and it was high reps and it was just so newbie-ish you know just thinking about it just makes me cringe up like I can't believe I actually got results from a program like that I'd say about three to five months passed and I started seeing some results in my body. Started seeing some development in my arms and in my chest a little bit. Um, I was one of those guys that did not train legs. And I didn't start training legs until I started working out with my very first workout partner. And he kind of put me up on game when it came to training your legs. After about a year of serious training and seeing my body transform, I started getting a lot more um, intuitive with nutrition and training and all of my time pretty much consisted of the gym nothing else didn't consist of me running the streets didn't consist of me getting into um scuffles didn't consist of me um just causing trouble it was all about the gym 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 bodybuilding 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 i ended up becoming a lot more disciplined i ended up becoming a lot more um responsible i ended up um just being able to change my body and to inspire others as well you know because people would see me and be like man you've changed a lot since the first time we've seen you walk in the gym and when you hear words like that it just inspires you to want to do better and it keeps you wanting to come back I also learned from bodybuilding that consistency with consistency anything is possible I mean anything that you start and you are persistent at and you continue to do you can achieve whatever you're after I mean no, no different bodybuilding is no different than trying to learn how to ski or trying to learn how to swim you just have to be consistent with it so I learned consistency because consistency was something that I heavily lacked before I started bodybuilding because I could never finish anything I would start something I could start a project and then 
I would leave it. And to an extent, and to an extent, I still have that issue with some parts of my life, but for the most part, um, I'm pretty consistent with everything that I do. So I can honestly say bodybuilding really did teach me consistency. I also learned to respect other people, um, to see people doing what I'm doing, to put in the work that I'm doing, knowing how hard it is. Gained, I ended up gaining a tremendous amount of respect for a lot of people as well. So, I mean, don't ever let anybody tell you that bodybuilders are just... Um, no brains and all bronze because you know you just never know where somebody's coming from you never know somebody's situation somebody's background you know and as for me like I said me and my background and me and my situation bodybuilding really did save my life because it kept me out of the streets it kept me from getting killed it kept me out of jail it kept me from you know all of the above because the path that I was going down was just so terrible and I'm and just thinking about it right now makes me makes me cringe up a little bit wondering where would I be if I, if I hadn't walked through the doors of that gym where would I be if I hadn't adopted bodybuilding where would I be if I didn't start lifting and start being consistent what, what if I didn't you know grasp on it like I did there's no need to be looking into the past because what's what's over it's over and done and you know by the grace of God I was uh, able to adopt a healthy habit that is profitable to me profitable to my family profitable to my clients because I am 10 years strong now into this lifting game you know certified personal trainer um, like I said I've been lifting for 10 years and nothing but good things has come out of it nothing but good things I mean we're talking about somebody who was going down a downward spiral to an upward spiral you know over the course of a single decision you know why don't everybody out there kind of give me your opinion on bodybuilding did bodybuilding change your life did it save your life like it saved my life? You know, some of us don't just lift just to lift. There's a story behind everybody. Just remember that, literally, everybody. Yo, I hope everyone enjoyed the video out there. Please um, like the video, comment down below any material that you guys would like to see, and subscribe to the channel. I hope everyone has a blessed day. Look out for more content in the future. Peace.